Hi, Steve here. Welcome to this tutorial on Rate the Races, the Australian version. Now, this is a, a web base, so you can use it on your iPhone, your iPad, your tablet, your, anything that's got an internet connection, maybe not your toaster, but you can use it. And once you log in uh, with your login number, you're presented with this screen here, the um, intro screen, of which we can do two things. First of all, we, if we're only looking at doing individual meetings and races, and the complete ratings, we can use it as you see it. Or if you want the top rated, if I just click on the top rated, if we want the top rated, we can have the top two rated in each race for the day, or the top three, or just the top one. And we can also here mark the gap. Now, the mark the gap means the distance between the first and second rated horses. Now, quite often, uh, especially in the UK racing, but in Australia even, if I use 150, I get some good winners and not a lot of races to bet on. So if we take the top two, put 150 there and push scan, and this is how quick it happens, there we are, we've got today's races now, and you can see there, Hawkesbury race one, race one. So we've got two horses in the race one, and as we go through it, it tells us it's at Hawkesbury, it tells us the race and the distance, the horse name and number, its form, its weight in kilos, of course, being in Australia, the jockey, the trainer, and the score. Now, when I said we marked it at 150, if the difference between this top-rated horse, uh, Lucky to Win, and Escape Artist was 150, then it would be highlighted in blue. And if I just scroll down, let's just see if we've got any... Here at Northern, you can see here in Northern Race 6, we've got Alluring at 562 rating and Mr. Delegator at 328, so obviously more than 150, so it's highlighted in blue. If we were only going to, say, do the, uh, the, the 150 gap races, then this would be our bet today. We would be betting Alluring to win this. We would only have one bet, but... That's uh, if you just want a very little bit of action. But otherwise, basically, sorting by the top two, you can see in every race it has the top two selections in order, the top rated first and the second rated. Now, what we can do is uh, when we do this uh, on the day, you actually get several um, days in advance. So we can see here we've got uh, Bow Desert Northern, which is on today. Then we've got Orange. You can see there's some uh, 150 plus rated horses. Rose Hill, and that. So we're getting into now Friday, and uh, if we scroll down there, we've got Friday night at the Valley, Townsville. So Narrow Court, which is not on because of COVID. Uh, Kimberley Grange, and we go on, and you can see there Ballarat. So we've got Sunday, uh, Saturday races also. So when you do the one day, it usually does two, three, or four days in advance as well. But if I scroll right down to the end here, and if you're running Excel, which I recommend you do, if you haven't got it, I suggest you buy it on eBay. You can get it quite cheaply. We can click here, and we can export all of these all of these selections. So I'll just click on Export. And uh, now what I've got down here is the Export. I'll just double-click on it. And here you see... All the races here in Excel. Okay, now occasionally you'll get to see here. Um, it's just a little bit out of order, and that's delete it. And same with the next one because it's the same race again. Delete that. Then I can just uh, highlight those, cut them, and paste them in here. And it brings everything back into line. Okay, so we've got these. We can keep these for results, etc. So it's very handy, and you can save them and record the results and see how they go. So that is, uh, I'll just get out of this. Uh, pause. So what I've just shown you is the top rated option. The other option is we can go home and we can go get calendar. And then we can select here the races for today. So you can see here, here's the races for today. Hawkesbury, Moe, Bow Desert, Northern. 
So we can click on, say, Hawkesbury, get card, and what that does is it gets all the races. So we can see here, here's the races today for Hawkesbury. We've got two options here. We can either push uh, all races, and if we do that, it will give us all the races there for Hawkesbury. So we've got uh, race one all the way down. Every rated horse in order. No, not in order. So we've got all the rated horses here from Saddlecloth order down. So we can see here one, three, five, seven. So the ones missing are non-runners. Otherwise, we can go to the single race, get race, and then if we do it that way, we get it in order from rating the highest down to the lowest. And once again, we've got the option to export individual races or the whole card for that one meeting. So that is uh, how you use it. So you've got the two options. You've got the top rated option or you can do individual race option. If you use the uh, home button, you get the individual options. Uh, so that is how you use Rate the Races Australian. Uh, plenty of opportunities to do lots of different ways to use the ratings. Um, comes with some very high price winners as you've seen in the results. And uh, it doesn't do ratings in a traditional way. Uh, if you've ever used our UK and world version one, you'll know it throws up some very high priced winners and also some very high priced place getters if you want to look at it that way. So on behalf of Michael and myself, Steve, Thanks for watching this uh, overview, a tutorial on Rate the Races Australian. Thank you.